Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to share top five superb widgets for your iPhone. Yes, iPhone has widgets, and you can reveal them by swiping to the right from the home screen, swiping to the right from the today screen, or swiping to the right from the lock screen. Now, this will be the first part of the top five widget series, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the sequel videos. Links to those videos will be down in the description below. Anyway, let's dive in and start discovering some widgets. Also, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my iPhone 7 Plus, which is a genuine leather case, you can find the link to grab one for yourself in the description below. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first widget I'm gonna talk about is a weather clock widget. Now, the reason I like this widget is simply because it is quite pretty. So basically, this is the widget right here, weather clock. And then if you scroll over, you'll see the widget right here uh, in its full glory, and that's the weather clock widget. Now you can go into the app if you want. If you go into the app, you'll see the same thing, but the great thing is I do like to see nice things on my widget screen, so this one right here gets the job done. Now what I really like about this widget is, uh, if you look at the time, it's 10 o'clock right now, so right then and there you see an icon that indicates the current weather conditions, which means it is sunny and partly cloudy. So when the clock hits 11 o'clock, it's gonna have a new icon right in that little space, and it's gonna tell you what those current conditions are. At the same time, you get a prediction. So it's gonna be 23 degrees, 24 degrees by 12 o'clock, 26 degrees by one o'clock, and so on and so forth, which is a really nice concept. All right, so let's move on to the next widget. All right, so the next widget actually is a timer widget. So you go and you download this widget right over here. Uh, it says widget timer. Now this is exclusively a widget timer, this designed to be a widget. You can still launch this and you're gonna see a nice little timer. Uh, but what I like is if you swipe over again and go to the widget screen, uh, you can start the timer right here or you can stop it, right? But if you tap this arrow, it expands to give you the full view. From here, you can reset this thing, and also you can add, if you want, one hour, 10 minutes, one minutes, and 10 seconds, which is pretty fantastic. So let's reset that. Let's say I need a timer for five minutes. All I do is uh, press this five times, that's plus one minute, so I get a five minute timer here, and then I can play this. And as you can see, you get a live um, countdown right here. So pause that, reset that, but that's how you add the time and uh, this is also a very useful, to the point, easy to use widget. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Now, by the way, anybody that doesn't know how the widgets work, when you scroll over to the widget screen and you scroll down, you do have to click edit, right? And then when you click edit, it allows you to actually adjust the widget. So if you wanted this widget, you would click plus, and then that goes right there. If you want to remove a widget, you click this, and you simply remove it. So click done. And let's go to the next widget. Okay, so the next widget is called Air Launch. Now, Air Launch actually comes with two widgets. The first one is just something that gives you quick details on your storage and your download activities. So if I scroll over to my widget screen, and if I look at the Air widget, so if you look over here, it says 71 gigabytes of storage is left on my iPhone, and that's the amount of memory that's left on my iPhone. That's the RAM. And then it also shows you the... Um, Approximate upload and download speeds right here. That's the network speed. Now with the Air Launch widget, if you scroll down and click Edit, you can also add this one over here. That's also Air Launch. So if you click Plus, it will go right here. Click Done. Just want to show you what it looks like. So that is the Air Launch widget from here. You can go to Home. You can go to the Wi-Fi settings, cellular settings. You can go to Battery, or you can launch Instagram. So basically, if I tap the battery, it's gonna take me into the settings for the battery in the iPhone. Now, you can go to the Air Launch widget right here, and you can edit what you want to add. So I can click plus, and I can take a launch app, and I can just put, uh, let's just put uh, Twitter, okay? So let's open Twitter, and then click save, and then now Twitter is over here, so if I go back out, to that uh, widget, you'll see Twitter over here, and if I tap this, it launches Twitter. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next widget. 
Now, when it comes to these app launching widgets, I'd like to have multiple ones uh, available just because they come with different styles. So if I scroll over, as you can see, that's the Air Launch widget. It looks nice, but then there's also the App Launcher widget that also looks pretty nice. And with the App Launcher widget, it is free, but you can actually purchase it. You can upgrade to the Pro version for $1.99. And let's just launch it and take a look at the interface so you get a good grip of what this thing is all about if you want to grab it. So tap that. And with this launcher, these are all the things you can do. You have an app launcher, you have a contact launcher, you have a calculator, you have a currency converter right in your widget screen. You can have a currency converter. You can do a photo frame, time zones, a calendar. You can do battery, memory, and disk usage. And you can do network activity. Now, some of these are premium features, so they're not going to be available unless you pay for them. Okay, And that's why... I'm showing you multiple widgets. So if you wanted to network activity for free, you would simply get the Air Launch widget, which shows you the network speed right over here. Okay, so that's the other widget I want to talk about, this one right here, uh, the, the App Launcher. So if you go into the App Launcher, again, all you do is you go in, for example, to the App Launcher, you tap this, and you create your own apps, okay? You add the apps that you want to be able to launch, and then you save this, and when you go back to the widget, it's going to reflect the changes you just added in the actual app on the widget. And finally, I don't know about you, but I use a calculator all the time to make calculations. So it's really convenient and kind of fancy for me to have a widget just sitting on the uh, widget screen, which is actually a calculator. And you can see it right over here. Okay. Now, the one that I like to use is Calculator Plus. This is a calculator I use on a daily basis, and this is what it looks like. But the good news is it comes with its own widget, which I like to also use. It's free to get, by the way. So when you look over here on the widget screen, it's in its compact form. But when you tap on Show More, it reveals the full calculator. And from here, I can do uh, some quick calculations and just move on with life. Okay, so that's that. So these are the five widgets I want to talk about. We've got the, uh, the timer. We've got this beautiful weather clock, we've got the air launch widget, we've got an app launcher, and we have a calculator as well as the air launch widget number two. Absolutely fantastic. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more top five widget videos. Also, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my iPhone 7 Plus, which is a genuine leather case, you can find the link to grab one for yourself in the description below. Again, thank you for watching, have a fantastic day, and make sure you check out my other videos.